Besides the case hopper for the size box, I want you to adjust adjustments number one and two. I'm going to lay the box down in the hopper section, align the slot with the dash lines, and adjust your hand cranks in and out so they fit. Once the box is snug, adjust the hand cranks out one half turn each, adjustments one and two. To adjust for the height of the box, place your box in the front of the hopper, and adjust hand crank number three down or up until the top of the box meets the striations in the box pusher down. To adjust for the box height in the staging area, you need to open the door, adjustment four is here, put the box in the staging area, Adjust the hand crank up or down until the score line of the box meets the dash line in the back of the pad. Loosen the hand knobs and adjust the paddles so they're roughly a third of the way in from each side of the box so it pushes the box down evenly. Then tighten the hand knobs. Adjust the suction cups on the box, form the box to 90 degree angle, press it in the zone, and adjust the hand knobs accordingly for each major and minor panel. If only one suction cup is required, make sure that it's centered in the box and the valve is turned off for the other set of suction cups. The belt width adjustment, we will manually form the case, place it in the exit belt section, and adjust the hand crank in or out until the box sits flush. And then I give it another half turn adjustment to ensure that it's fully tight. After all adjustments that have been, have been made, you can load the hopper with boxes. Make sure the boxes are square and pressed tight on the bottom. After you have the boxes loaded, you can take the paddles and behind the box. As your machine is operational, you load on the fly. Place the bundle of boxes behind, moving the paddle, and cutting the strap. After your adjustments have been made, you may jog a single box through to test the settings to make sure they're right. Machine to home. We'll reset the machine. Push the jog on the HMI and push the green button.
able to control each individual step manually. Go to the manual control, push start, make sure the green is lit. For example, if I want to make the belts run, I can turn them on and off individually. If I want to use the arm, I can do it on and off individually. Problem shooting and key setup. Setting screen, password, one, two, three, four. Mode setting, every delay timer, enter a value in here. 10 will increase the time between each step by one second, point one. So you can effectively slow down the output of your case erector. At zero seconds, is full speed where you have 15 cases of it. Get into the notepad recipe, log into your settings, mode, enter your password. And now you're able to program each value for your adjustment handles as a notepad reference. To adjust the rear suction cup delay timer, enter the secondary menu. You'll see there is three preset values for the separator suction cup delay for a small box, medium box, and big box. This time is directly related to how long the rear suction cup is engaged for the large box and small box. The larger the value, the longer the suction cup will be on to allow the case to be fully formed. Open a retreat speed into the secondary menu, mode settings. Open a retreat speed, there's two functions, a low and a high. The low 
will change how fast the box is pulled out from the loading zone to where it's formed 90 degrees. The lower the speed, the larger the box. The high speed will retreat the box and open it faster.